Hello guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're not going to be working in the garage. Um, I don't know if you can hear that behind me, but I got the 3500 warming up and I'm sure from the total of this video, you know what's going to happen. So I've decided to take the truck to CarMax to uh, get it appraised. Honestly, I'm just curious. Uh, just curiosity's got me. So the truck is for sale. Admittedly, I have the price. Um, I have it on Craigslist. I have it on Auto Trader. I have it on a couple places. But I have the heist, the price relatively high. Um, now the reason for that is I actually have not gotten a title back from the state. So usually, state of Pennsylvania, they're pretty good about week to two weeks getting the title. Um, it's been like a month, maybe a month and a half. So we haven't gotten the title yet. So I actually filed early last week for a duplicate title for a lost title. So hopefully we get that this week. So I really haven't worried about putting a price um, in, in the range where I think it'll sell real quick. Uh, just trying to see if I can get any hits. And honestly, it's high enough that it's nobody's, nobody's interested. Nobody's interested. So I saw, you know, you always see these videos of the people going to CarMax. I figure we'll try it out for the 3500. I'm curious. Um, for what we paid for the thing, I think they would at least give us that because that was a truck that didn't move. Who knows? If they were to give us a good price, I'd sell it. I, I am not discriminatory to who I sell it. I just want the thing gone, honestly. I'm trying to make some money on it so we have money for race truck parts. So the whole time we're doing this, um, I probably will not be filming too much because if you watch any of the videos... You know which i've watched a few of people doing this here lately the carmax people have kind of said like enough's enough you can't film all that plus i want them to take me seriously um maybe they'll give us a better price i don't know how that all works but won't have to worry about probably too much filming with that the hard part of this whole thing is the truck is relatively clean when i say relatively clean it at least looks clean it's by no means uh freshly washed but i need to put out the driveway because otherwise it would look like this. Um, Caitlin looks like I just ran her through a cornfield and that's just from the driveway. Driveway's got a ton of potholes from all the snow melting because even though today is like a nice spring day, it's like 50, 55 degrees, yeah. Still got this crap floating around and uh, if I was a betting man, I'd say we're probably gonna get at least one more snowstorm here in Pennsylvania. Probably have like a week where it's like 65 and then come the weekend it'll be like 20 but uh anyway let's get the car max let's just get this truck appraised remember it is a 2011 um st four-wheel drive ram dodge ram still dodge dodge ram 3500 with 260,000 miles so put down in the comments what you think that that car max is going to appraise the, the truck at um i'm gonna go with twelve thousand five hundred dollars that's my bet uh my guess what's yours well we're here go in see what this is all about and uh see how much they think our uh cheap cummins uh off of craigslist is worth hour later woo, 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 woo. well we are back at the homestead with all the dodges so the dodge in question um so what did carmax think it was worth obviously there was a couple of things that uh they said detracted from the price which is well the obvious things the body for one uh this bed the rocker on the other side also the mileage having 260,000 miles all stuff that one would expect so come to find out according to carmax uh we overpaid so uh, according to carmax that truck is worth eight thousand dollars what you think it's worth more and if you guys remember we paid eh, just under 10 for it with a broken transmission so um kind of funny i was certainly having a i was certainly thinking hoping i guess that maybe they'd say it was worth a little more we could offload it real easy but um 
really it's just like going to a car dealer you know when you trade something in you're not going to get what it's actually worth so is this truck worth eight grand it's worth more than that i mean it's still a viable truck we got a good transmission in it the engine is fine driving there it never hesitate i thought i heard some deer or something so never hesitated i mean the truck runs fine drives fine and all that just got a little bit of mileage on it but we know these engines are good for it the transmission is the weak point but uh yeah it's kind of funny you know how they do that now also um carmax i must say the whole little process they have was very easy you know you go in like i made an appointment online you go in talk to the guy or whatever he sits you down and your guy the guy you're dealing with um comes over and go out look at the truck real quick and then their um, appraisers go look at it uh, really it was like a half hour maybe 40 minutes total i was there so i walked around the car lot they had and pretty much uh i don't know after that it was about 10 minutes and he came and got me to tell me that the truck isn't worth anything <laughs> um also the cars in their lot as you would expect there was maybe one interesting car there's like a jaguar there's a you know a couple couple of little kind of interesting things nothing amazing nothing you go wow um which is to be expected you know it's all just kind of standard fare um but i was amazed at how dirty the cars were like they have they just didn't seem to care um how they look like you go to a car dealer you know after a snowstorm they got them all cleared off you know they got everything shined up nope not a carmax they just uh didn't care at all like the black black cars that have water spots on them they'd have all kinds of crap so uh yeah that was my experience with carmax not that i would ever probably purchase a car there or trade one in unless they lost their mind somehow but uh yeah they're saying that what is going on with my camera was it like this the whole time all right so the lcd screen on the gopro was acting all funny um I, the f footage looks good from replaying it on there but anyhow yeah so uh they're saying the truck is worth eight thousand dollars now that being said i did do like um i think it's cars.com i had it listed on there for a while and they do like a an immediate appraisal thing and somebody had offered me um more than that and more than what we had paid for it so as soon as i get the title for this truck from the state we will be certainly dropping the price and trying to get rid of it try to uh you know make you know get some money for race truck parts and also then since we are now used to having the five trucks counting the race truck I think we will keep a spot open for another project or uh cheap like flip type thing like this um that is as long as we make out all right on this so guys i hope you enjoyed our little trip to carmax i know it was something different um i was just very curious myself so uh i hope you guys enjoyed please like the video subscribe to the channel catch you guys on the next one get out in your garage get the wrench in on your truck